This guide is not intended to replace your manufacturer specific owner's manual. You must read and refer to the manual specific to your crossbow. Terms like prods and bolts are archaic when describing modern crossbows. Today's hunting crossbows use the same terminology as modern vertical archery equipment. The front end of a modern hunting crossbow is a bow. It consists of a riser and limbs, either recurve or compound. Recurve limbs are powered by a bowstring attached to the ends of the limbs, and compound limbs are powered by cables and a string rigged to a wheel or cam pulley system mounted to the ends of the limbs. Because the compact crossbow has a shorter power stroke and shorter limbs than the vertical bow, its limbs are fabricated with a heavier draw weight to generate speed and power comparable to the vertical bow. Like a vertical bow, the forward movement and strength of crossbow limbs combined with the length of the power stroke determine the ballistic performance of its arrow. Compound crossbows come equipped with either solid or split limbs powered by a synthetic bowstring and cables rigged to a wheel or cam system that creates a mechanical advantage. Recurve crossbows are powered by a single string attached to the ends of a solid limbs and generally requires longer power stroke and wider limb span to deliver ballistic performance similar to that of a compound crossbow. Crossbow limbs attach to a riser in the same way vertical bow limbs attach to a riser. Crossbows generally come with a foot stirrup mounted to the front of the riser. When manually cocking a crossbow, the shooter places the foot into the stirrup up to the arch to prevent slippage and bends over the stock to pull the bowstring back using arm, leg, and back strength. Unlike the vertical bow with a grip attached to its riser, the crossbow riser usually mounts to the front end of the stock, permitting the string to travel straight back to the trigger's string latching mechanism. Reverse draw crossbow models are relatively new to the industry. Their risers mount further back on the stock, closer to the trigger mechanism, with their limb tips pointing toward the front end of the crossbow. Most modern crossbows use groove barrels that allow the arrow to lie in precise alignment with the bowstring string for consistent arrow grouping. The barrels are commonly made of extruded aluminum, wrapped carbon fiber, or molded composite polymer materials and they typically fit into a stock. However, some barrels and stocks are molded as a single piece. Stocks are most commonly injection molded with a composite polymer material, and some are equipped with adjustable butt and or comb cheek rest attachments. Crossbow triggers assemblies mount in or the stock and or barrel assembly with sight bridge mounted above them. An arrow retention spring or other retention device generally mounts at the front of the trigger box and sight bridge and serves to hold the arrow securely and safely in the barrel's flight groove so that it will not fall out of position if the bow turns upside down or cans to one side or the other. Crossbow trigger assemblies include a string latch that captures the bowstring during the cocking procedure and holds it securely in place until the shooter releases it by pulling the trigger. Finally, most trigger assemblies are equipped with automatic safety mechanisms that engage when cocking the crossbow and serve to prevent accidental discharge of an arrow. Some crossbow triggers are equipped with manually activated safety mechanisms. Every crossbow manufacturer includes an owner's manual in the box with each model they make. It is extremely important to read and understand and follow the instructions in this manual. While this video provides reliable, general information about crossbows, an owner's manual will provide specific information unique to a particular manufacturer or a particular model. Do not make the mistake of attempting to assemble, load, or shoot a crossbow before reading its owner's manual. And if your dealer assembles your crossbow, it is a mistake to shoot it before reading the manual and being certain of how it operates. Do not use a crossbow if you do not understand how to use that specific model, including its recommended arrows, knocks, or other accessories.